Hi, my name is Wayne. I am an ASC certified master technician. I have over 34 years of experience. Today, you and I are going to help to repair your car. Our customer brought us their 1996 Acura Integra with a 1.8 liter dual overhead cam engine. The complaint is they have an intermittent misfire. Now there are many things that can cause a misfire condition. Today we're going to be focused on the ignition system for our diagnostics. We drove the car and even though it's intermittent, we were able to feel the condition and the car shakes and sputters when we're accelerating. So we suspect that we do have an issue with the ignition system. For our diagnostics and our repair today, we're going to use the Innova ProScan tool, an eight millimeter quarter inch drive socket, a quarter inch drive ratchet, Phillips screwdriver, a flashlight, our safety goggles, and our safety gloves. We've connected our scan tool and with the engine running, we have a red light, which is a hard set code and it's a P0300, a random cylinder misfire detected. We're going to begin with our visual inspection. We're checking to make sure the injectors are all plugged in. The fuel injectors look good. We're looking for any obvious signs of spark plug wires being loose and we notice that the customer has already replaced the spark plugs and the wires. We've checked those and those were okay. We don't see anything that's very apparent or at this point. So we're going to suspect that we may have a problem inside of our distributor cap. Corrosion, carbon tracking, or maybe even water that might be in there. So we're going to begin this with removing the distributor cap. We've removed our distributor cap screws and on a visual inspection, we've noted that there's a lot of corrosion on the contacts. Those contacts being corroded gives us more clearance between our rotor and our contact points of the cap. That combined with the spark plug gap will create more of an area and the voltage will be high for this. That will be an intermittent condition. We've visually inspected to make sure there's no contaminants inside the distributor, uh, oil or water. If we suspect there's an oil soaking inside of the distributor cap or the bottom of the distributor, we need to address that now. But that looks okay. The seal around the distributor housing is good, so we won't have water and foreign materials going into our cap, causing a, a uh, condition that will occur again. We also want to check the rotor to make sure that it's not wobbling a lot. If it wobbles and moves around, that will give us an increase of gap as well. Everything looks to be okay there. We noted that there was some carbon tracking inside of our distributor cap. So with all of those components, the wear and the carbon tracking, the rotor and the cap should be the correct repair. Now to remove our distributor rotor on this application, there's a screw that retains the rotor to the shaft. It may not be visible. So we might have to turn the engine around with the aid of an assistant to access the screw. Once we have the screw out, then we can pull the rotor off the shaft. Now we found corrosion that leads to excessive clearance and that can cause the ignition system to overwork. We have compared our parts and our rotor is identical. We have more of a protrusion here, so we have a closer gap on 
with this rotor. We've checked our cap, and our cap appears to be identical. We want to make sure that we have the right part so we don't create another problem. Everything looks good, so we're going to put it back together. The first thing we do is we put the rotor in, and remember to put in the small set screw. When we put the cap on, we do not want to over tighten the screws. There's metal spacers which give us a good snug fit, but we don't want to risk cracking the distributor cap. Now that we have the cap in place, we will put the plug wires on one at a time so we don't lose our firing order. We'll put a dab of dielectric grease. That helps to ensure that they go all the way in and it protects them from corrosion. We line it up, it's down there. Now that we've replaced our distributor cap and our rotor, we want to start it and visually inspect everything as it's running before we close the hood and go on our road test. So let's start it up. Okay. okay, it looks good, everything is tight. It's running on all four cylinders. We haven't got any spark plug wires mixed up. So I think it's time to close the hood and go for a ride. We're gonna clear all the codes that are set. A simple press of the eraser button and the code is cleared. Now we're going to road test our vehicle just to make sure that it doesn't come back. We've just returned from our road test, and we no longer have the shutter and the misfire that we had before. It was an intermittent condition, so we made sure that we ran a complete trip cycle. The code has not returned, and we have no pending codes for PO300, or any other code for that matter. We have other conditions that may cause a misfire. Those we will address on future videos. But this condition, which was intermittent, caused by the carbon tracking and the excessive clearance in our distributor cap and rotor, has been repaired. We have professionally diagnosed this car, professionally checked it, and professionally repaired it. Job well done, and the keys go to you.